Hey, Rain Florence here. Do you suffer from constipation, migraine headaches, regular headaches, heartburn, acid indigestion, depression? The list goes on and on and on. You've got to learn how to do an enema. I know people think it's scary or they think it's a thing of the past, but I'm serious. I know people who suffer from migraine headaches, they go to the doctor, pay lots of money, and then they pop these toxic chemical peels all the time. Or they use Advil, Tylenol, aspirin. The truth is that stuff is toxic to your system. What you need to do is do an enema. If you've got headache, migraines, um, upset stomach, acid indigestion, that's your body telling you or depression, to telling you that your system's toxic and you need to relieve that burden. So I'm gonna take you step by step and show you just how easy it is to do an enema at home. Okay, now you want to use filtered water. What I like to use is just a simple faucet filter. Um, I'm using the pure filter and you want to assemble your enema bucket or your enema bag. For this bucket I just attach the hose right here and then I attach the um, that piece to the end and then you have your clamp right there. Before I start I'd like to run hot water through to wash out any bacteria or anything. In, you're ready to fill it up. What you need to do, I like to turn the hot water all the way on and then I turn the cold water a little bit. And then I just adjust it by turning more cold water until I have a good temperature. You don't want it too hot or too cold. It's kind of like a baby bottle. You want to touch it right there on your wrist. That feels about right. Then I switch on my filter. So now that's filtered. I wait for that to warm up. Okay. Okay, before I start, I like to um, hang my enema bucket up and I have a towel rack on the door and then I have a clamp here that I attach it to. You can set it up on any type of surface that you have, but you just want it up above where you're laying high enough. And before I start, I like to take the clamp and open it and let the water out because sometimes there will be trapped air and stuff in here, in the tube, and you don't want that going inside you. The next step is lubrication. I like to use organic coconut oil. And what you want to do is get you some on your finger, and then you want to lubricate the nozzle and really good. This is going to help it slide in. And then you also want to um, get more coconut oil on your finger and um, lubricate your bottom. And that will help it to slide in. If you don't get enough lubrication, it won't slide in very easily. Okay, now that we are all lubed up, we want to um, lay back. And I like to um, put my feet up on like the door or something that helps the water to, to flow in better. And I want to mention that you're not going to be able to take in the whole enema bucket or enema bag at one time. You're going to have to um, clean yourself out first. And after you're cleaned out, 
you'll be able to take more water in. Um, towards the end of your session, you might be able to take in the whole enema bag or the whole enema bucket. It just depends. Um, it's best to do an enema after you have gone to the bathroom, number two, and after you have drank plenty of water. That will help you to be more flushed out. If you haven't done that and you have and you try to do an enema, you might not be able to get much water in at one time. And that's okay. You just keep getting up and going to the bathroom. And then eventually you'll be able to take more in. And you just fill up your bucket when you run out of water. Okay, so you've lubricated the hose and you just want to insert it into your bottle. And sink it. Okay, and this clamp here is what controls the flow of water. So when I start out, I just open it and let a little bit flow in and then I close it, clamp it back down. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you this process. Okay, the tube is inserted and I'm just going to open the clamp and then I close it back down. Open it and close it. Again, you don't want to do it fast and gush a bunch of water up inside you at once. You want it to be slow. You close it back down and you allow yourself to adjust to that much water. And then you open it again. And then you close it back down again. Each time allowing yourself to adjust to the amount of water inside you. And you just keep doing that until you reach a point where you can't hold any more water. When you reach that point, you want to just clamp this back down and get up and go to the toilet. Opening, closing. I wanted to mention that you want to make sure you have a pretty good stack of towels that you can put down on the floor. It can get a little messy. Sometimes a little water will leak out or you might have a little accident on the floor. But if you've got towels, you can just mop that right back up. Okay, I've about reached the point where I can't take any more water in. And you can tell that that wasn't a whole lot of water. So I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I'll meet you back again. <laughs> Boy, do I feel better after just that little bit of water. The headache I had, it's gone already. Um, so let me show you how much water I took in. Okay, I wanted to show you how much water I took in with the first enema. As you can see, not a lot, but a decent amount. That's pretty normal. Um, again, I'll just lay down, insert the tube, and do it again, and I'll get a little bit more the next time, and then I'll repeat the process again. Each time I'll be able to take a little more water in. Um, again, you won't be able to take the whole bucket at once. That's not what you're after. You will slowly clean yourself out. It'll take about two of these enema buckets of getting up and down before getting a little bit in each time, about that much each time, before you will clean yourself out. After you clean yourself out, you'll be able to take in more water and you can hold it. Um, you can try to hold it for two to five minutes, depending on um, what you can, what you can do. And that's pretty much the process. Um, you'll get up and down a lot and you'll take in a little bit of water each time. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to kind of get it in your mind how you work. Basically, you just need to work the clamp. You're just gonna open it, let water flow in, close it back down. And you do that slowly. You don't want a lot of water to gush in at once or you're not gonna be able to hold it. You do that slowly until you feel like you can't take any more. Close the clamp down, get up, and go to the bathroom. And then you're going to lay back down because usually you'll have more water left because, like I said, you're not going to be able to take the whole bucket. Once you have completed that process, 
you might get to where you can hold it for like, you know, two to five minutes at a time, depending how clean you are inside. Okay, so once you complete one bucket or one enema bag full, you can fill it back up and complete the whole process again. Um, it just depends on how much time you have, how much you want to clean out. Um, enemas are a great way to detox the body, relieve migraines, relieve acid indigestion, heartburn, the list goes on and on. Um, again, it used to be customary in France to do an enema after the evening meal to just help deflate the system and send you into a nice, deep, restful sleep. Well, if you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.